Concerts have returned to Twin Cities, all with different rules, all with different protocols. Shayla Reeves live outside XL Energy Center in St. Paul. And Shayla, so far of all the events they've had at the X uh, in recent weeks, uh, months, there haven't been any major outbreaks there. Yeah, that's what we're hearing. In fact, we, the state leaders are keeping a close eye on the COVID numbers, and they tell us just in the last week, they've only seen a couple of COVID-19 cases linked to a recent Harry Styles concert. That concert happened here at the X, and of course, it's one of many events we expect to see happening over the next few months. So fans, what you may not know, though, is when you have those tickets in hand and you're going to a concert venue, sometimes those protocols for the venues are actually set by the artist in town. So Harry Styles fans actually had to show proof of vaccination or a recent negative COVID-19 test to attend that concert. No bags were allowed for fewer touch points. Fans also had to be masked whenever they were not eating or drinking. We caught up with a mother who attended the concert with her 16-year-old daughter. We're still really careful, even though we're both fully vaccinated, to be careful going into crowds and, you know, social distancing and masking and all of that. So when I read that you had to show up a vaccine or proven that you know we're tested negative within 24 48 hours i felt really good about that and everybody was required to mask so um i felt comfortable with us doing that so ticket king told wcco that rolling stones no filter tour stops in minneapolis later this month after being rescheduled from 2020 the band is not requiring proof of vaccines or a negative test but masks are required for those who attend fans can only eat or drink in their seats as for outdoor events really a range of protocols we've seen for the basilica block party that happened recently you had to have proof of vaccination or a negative test but for other other events like the Twin City Summer Jam, they did not have those requires, requirements and masks were not required there as well. So it's really important where we're going, whether it's an indoor event, outdoor event, make sure that you check what the rules are before you go so that you can make sure you're prepared and you actually get inside to see that performer you're there for. Absolutely. Yeah, it's interesting that the artists have so much control over this and kind of the care that they're taking uh, for these concerts, I think it maybe makes you love those artists even more that they care about their fans this way. Absolutely. That was something we heard from the mother who attended with her daughter. She felt everyone was respectful of the rules because they had respect for that artist they yeah. were there to see. All right. Can't beat a little Harry Styles. Thanks, Shayla. A little <laughs> watermelon sugar, the only thing people coming down with there.